Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be showcasing a projectile utility that I've made. Now this is a, a functional data pack you can put into a survival world even, but uh, that was just for showcase purposes. So what it does is this right here is a redstone turret, and it can shoot at things. Right now is it effectively just a snow golem that shoots arrows, which is something I've made even. I've just made so snow golems can shoot arrows, and the arrows are effectively the same thing as the snowball, except it does damage. Um, but that's that's a different sort of thing. This is a fully automated projectile shooting utility. As you can see, it's pretty good at its job. Uh, it does all of its calculations on its own. It's fairly simple when you get down to the bones of it, but it is a lot of awkward calculations. And it's it was fun to work on. I mean... It, it, it's a, it's a fully automated, uh, I, I freaking, what do you call it? I mean, it's just a automated turret and it doesn't use any pre-existing things in the game. It does all of its own calculations. Uh, and this, this does use 1.14. I, I thought about it for a while. It is theoretically possible to work in 1.13, but there are some entity rendering limitations in 1.13 that do make it a bit more awkward. Um, so 1.14 is the best for this. Sometimes the bats don't move quite a bit, so they're not the greatest demonstration. Uh, but I mean, this, this guy can aim. And as I said, it does it all on its own. And it does it instantly, meaning if I wanted to, I could set this thing to shoot 20 times a second and it wouldn't hiccup at all. To, to make a new one, you already seen me make one, but it's that easy right there. You just drop a dispenser on a redstone block and an armor stand, and then it'll just start shooting away. The arrows, once they hit the ground, do despawn. They are immediately killed. That's a resource saving thing as well as uh, just to ease up on the the loop function because I don't want it scanning through too many entities. Uh, this does. Right now, target anything in a specific tag that I've created. I created a tag for hostile mobs and bats. Bats are included in the, the hostile mob tag, just so I can sort of showcase the, the aiming capability of these, because they aim really well. Um, I mean, they'll, they'll shoot anything. They can take them down pretty quick. And, uh, I mean, this can be used for far more than just arrows. Right here, you're seeing some of the weaknesses. Sometimes it's just barely misses the hitbox, which is a little disappointing. But I mean if there's enough mobs in an area they'll it'll it'll compensate. But I mean it's functional and it's quite exciting. Actually having something like this, I can rig it up to shoot snowballs or fireballs or ender pearls or eggs. Really any projectile. You could theoretically even start shooting items or other entities at entities if you wanted to. But that gets kind of weird. But I mean, you can do absolutely whatever you want with this utility. Uh, it is right now set up as a data pack for turrets. But as I said, it is a utility in its core. I'll have down the links and everything down in the description. So you can check it out. But other than that, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all next time.